well, folks. We had a tie for first place in the Amateur Classic Challenge in the 2017 Summer Spectacular. I'm here with one of the winners, Jennifer Rector, who rode Smooth Rain and scored a 218. Congratulations to you, Jennifer. Thank you very much. I'm super excited. So what was your plan coming out? Because you were first up in the bunch of a big final. I was scared to death. I did not want to be the first horse out. I was teasing with one of my girlfriends that made the finals. Can we just switch? Because she was second to last in that herd. And uh, apparently first, first hole worked out pretty good for me. So, Yeah, you really set the tone. But um, it was um, Bella Anderson who ended up coming out to tie with you. Um, but you had to sit through another 33 competitors. How was that? Was that nerve-wracking? It was definitely nerve-wracking. Um, I was glad to get my run done, though, so that was the good thing about going first, uh, even though I didn't want to do it. Uh, but when I saw the 218 mark, I was afraid because I knew there were so many other dynamic horses uh, to go that, that it wasn't going to hold out for, for first or second, and, and it did. So. so take us through your run. Can you remember your cows? I can't. It's all a blur. I remember my trainer saying, don't lean, don't lean. <laughs> And uh, I remember right before I went in, the loper, uh, Tanner Odell, he works for, for Nick, it's his son. Um, he said, watch that cow and read it. Don't just look at it, read it. So I always take those little bits and pieces in there and I, I always think what they tell me. And it, it worked today. I, I listened to all of it. And did you pick the cows that you had, um, did you cut the cows that you had picked earlier? Yes, they, uh, well, I didn't watch the cows this time. I never don't watch the cows, but since I was first, they were watching the cows out on the horses and we weren't sitting up in the cattle box. And I talked to a lovely gentleman the whole time the cattle settle was going on. I couldn't even remember his name, um, but it helped keep my mind just kind of clear. And uh, when the guy pushed the button to, you know, for the settle to be over, I got on my horse and just kind of trotted around a little bit. Trainer pulled her around and went in and showed. So what does it mean to show in the Will Rogers? I absolutely love showing in this big pen. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be able to show in the Futurity twice already uh, and all the aged events with those those two horses, this one included. Um, and it's just, it's just such a big, booming environment. It's exciting. Does it bring out the best of you showing? I think it does. I think you feel like a rock star when you're out there showing. <laughs> So tell us about uh, Smooth Rain. You just had a photo with him, with her, and she was sweet and docile. And now we've got the camera on her, and she's all active. Oh, she is just the sweetest thing. She's so in your pocket, clearly, and just nosy, rosy. And I couldn't ask for a sweeter, sweeter little mare. Ever since I got her, she's just been such a pleasure to be around. Why do you like to show up? Because she's good. <laughs> And uh, I can't say that she's necessarily easy to ride because I have had some rough, uh, rough, you know, times this first part of the year. But uh, she just does her job and does it well. How long have you been showing her? Uh, I showed her at the Futurity a year and a half ago. And uh, I showed, I made both finals there. Um, made one finals at the Super Stakes, two finals at the Derby last year on her. And then I didn't get anything done at the Super Stakes this year. And uh, there was a couple other age event shows we had went to that, that I was just having some trouble and sent her back into full-time training and Nick O'Dell got her back in shape for me to be able to come out here and get a win. Well, congratulations. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you.